this short video tutorial, I'm going to go through something new from Adobe, Adobe Express. It's all web-based, so you access it through your browser. And the website is adobe.com forward slash express. And if I scroll down a bit, you can see the sorts of things you can do. You can edit photos in basic ways, videos, and you can export everything to a PDF if that's what you want. There is a free version, which is what I'm going to go through, but there's also a premium version, which you have to pay for. So I'll click on Get Adobe Express. Now, I've already logged in previously, so it's not asking me how to log in, but what it would normally give you is, would you like to log in with your Google account, or Apple account, or just email, etc.? And on the left hand side, uh, I'm on the home. If I click on projects, these are some projects I've been playing around with before. If I click on brands, I can upload like a logo to use in my work, uh, pick my colors, choose a font. If I go to libraries, I can uh, add things in my library that I can use, logos and stuff like that, etc. And this is premium, this is the schedule part, but I could schedule an upload of something, uh, but this is premium, so if I'm doing uh, social media, Twitter feeds, Instagram, etc, etc. I'll close that down, and of course there's the learn part if you want to go through little tutorials to figure out what's going on. But I'll go back to home, and again, there's a whole load of popular templates here but I'm going to just choose a basic one. If I choose, say, book cover, and now what happens, I'm in a slightly different area. The toolbar on the left has changed, and I'm going to start from a template, and I'm going to choose, say, here we go. I'll click on this one, and the template pops up. Now, on the left-hand side, I can go to text, so I can choose different text to add, but what I've got at the moment, if I can now, in the middle, I can click on something, and all these are individual items, and I can click and drag, and if I click on something, I can resize it, I can rotate it, and indeed I can copy and paste. Command C, Control C, Command C, Control V on the PC, Command or Control. And I can delete, of course, uh, backspace, and I can click on the text, and here is the text. I can edit it, and I can say my new galaxy it doesn't matter what and I can change the various style and add effects and so on and so forth and I can access uh, different font types as well if I wish what's also very nice is there's an auto save and you can see here it's saving automatically so there's no command s control s it saves automatically so if I move something around see it's auto saving even better it will do an undo so if I do command z or control z on the pc it does an undo, which is quite handy. And on the left-hand side, I can go to my text. I can add text, whatever it may be. Let's have a look. Uh, something like that. I can click and drag. There you go. Click on it. And in this particular case, you see this is a group. So I can ungroup it. There you go. Click off. Uh, click on. And then I can change the text and so on and so forth. And of course, I can do the opacity as well which is really quite simple and useful. I can go to photos and use one of the photos there. Let me delete uh, some text and I'll drag in this photo here. And here we go, nothing complicated. And if I scroll down, you can see there's a lot more. And if I click back on the photo, I've got something like remove background. I can click on remove background and bang. And I'm happy with that. I'll click on tick and done. If I go to shapes, I can add various shapes as well. Uh, design assets. There's quite a few things here for you to play around with. Uh, backgrounds I can play around with. Logos, which I haven't got, but this is the premium, so that kicks in. Uh, and libraries, again, which I haven't created any. So it's really quite useful uh, and easy. And if I'm happy with this, but in the top right hand corner, I can click on download. I can download as a PNG, JPEG, or PDF. Really quite useful. So that's the basics of Adobe Express.